गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट आई एम मिसेस रुशाली चौधरी लेक्चरर प्रवीण पाटिल पॉलिटेक्निक वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अप्लाइड साइंस केमिस्ट्री सब्जेक्ट को ट्रिपल टू जीरो टू टॉपिक इज मेटलर्जी वॉट इज द मेटलर्जी एक्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ मेटल फ्रॉम द ओट्स इट्स कॉल्ड एज मेटलर्जी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ द आई एन मेटल इज एक्सट्रैक्टेड फ्रॉम द ओट what is the ore a substance the naturally occurring substance which contains metal oxide in a higher quantity and extraction is economically possible that is called as ore in nature iron is available in form of oxide carbonate sulfide iron oxide fe2o3 the ore is called as hematite if it is a fe3o4 it is called as magnetite similarly if it is a carbonate ore fco3 it is called as cinderite if it is a sulfide ore it is fes2 called as pyrite so from that metal oxide metal carbonate metal sulfide we are going to remove pure iron that process is called as metallurgy of iron in the metallurgy of iron first process involve crushing metal ore is available in form of big stone so first we are going to crush that ore and grind it it into the fine powder then after we are going to do a concentration what is the concentration the process of removing impurities gangue unwanted parts from the ore it's called as concentration this method the concentration is the two types physical concentration and a chemical concentration first we are going to perform the physical concentration as iron ore is a magnetic and it is a heavier we are going to use gravity separation process to remove the impurities iron particles are heavier and gangue or the impurities are lighter so we are going to use gravity separation process for removing the impurities in the gravity separation process we are going to wash ore with a water on the floating surface slanting surface here we will observe that crushed ore is mixed with a upward stream of running water we are washing the ore the lighter particles of the gangue or the impurity is float away wash away with the running water while heavier particles metal particle iron ore particles are settled down in a depressions this method is important to remove the impurities like a tin and lead as they are quite heavier another method of the concentration of iron ore is magnetic separation iron is magnetic while the impurities present in the iron ore are non magnetic so how we are using the magnetization principle in the magnetic separation principle magnet is attracted by the iron particles while it is not going to attract the non magnetic non iron particles so we have allowing magnet to pass through the ore and now the magnet is going to attract only the iron ore iron oxide impurity will be remain as it is in this diagram you are able to see when we are passing the magnet through the iron and sulfur mixture only iron particles get attached to the magnet and get separate out while the sulfur also separate out in the container in a magnetic separation we are going to pass ore particles finely grounded ore through the magnetic roller as the we are passing grounded particles through the roller we will observe that iron particles which is attract towards the magnet will follow near the magnet while the non magnetic particles fall away from the 
magnet and get separate out we will observe two separate bunches of the magnetic and non magnetic particles magnetic separation is the process of separating components of mixture by using magnet to attract magnetic material the process that is used for magnetic separation detach non magnetic material from the magnetic material after physical concentration we are going to perform the roasting process what is the roasting it is a process of heating ore at a high temperature in presence of air it's called as roasting it is a main step in the processing of ores and it is a metallurgical process in which gas solid reaction at a elevated temperature is involved before roasting first we are going to partially purified by the flotation process what is the difference between the calcination and roasting both have the concentration process in a both process ore is heated at a high temperature but in a roasting process we are heating the ore in a excess of air in a presence of air large quantity of air is there while in a calcination we are heating the ore in the absence or limited supply of air roasting is used for the sulfide ore while the calcination is used for carbonate ores in a roasting process sulfur dioxide is produced along with the metal oxide as the sulfur is there while calcination carbon dioxide is produced roasting process generally used where sulfur containing impurities are present calcium uh, calcination process used for the carbonate impurities thank you for your attention if you have any questions you can write me your doubts on the prp rishali.fy thank you so much for your attention